Hello, hello. Welcome to the Peter Parker Show. How's it going, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about something that we have on the bike that we haven't really talked in detail about, and that is the rear view camera. You know, what are the benefits of it, and uh, if it's actually worth the buy and it's worth mounting on your handlebars. All right, let's give it a look. All right, as you can see, it takes a big, big part of the handlebars, and the stock ones, it takes this whole basically square part of the uh, handlebars. Let me show you guys from the back. So basically this whole area is taken over by the screen. Obviously you can mount it in different parts like right here. You can put it right there. Uh, you can even do it on the bottom here. Uh, but I thought it was better to put it right in the middle in front of me. Uh, so I don't have to look back at the mirror or I have to turn my head to different directions to see where I'm going. So it's better just to have everything in front of you for, you know, for safety and to not lose focus on what's going on in front of you in traffic. So it's really easy. There's, uh, I believe there's four buttons back here behind. Uh, this is the power button. This is the infrared all the way down there. And these are for the settings. So we just turn it on by hitting this button over here. And uh, should we turn it on? There it is, wireless, even though there is a wire here. So the way I have it is this cable connects all the way here, down here, all the way down, all the way down here. And I have these little bars uh, with a Velcro. So that's the cable, it goes all the way down here and it goes into the controller behind here and then down here and it ends up right here where the camera is. You can also put the camera right here in the back bars but because I have this brake light installed, obviously I can't put it on there. Uh, it's a little bit harder, but if you don't have any mods installed on your bike to the point where uh, you have enough space because your seat is not taken over or because a brake light is not in front of the bar, you can also mount it right there. In fact, the idea of doing that was uh, from Illicit, who has the greatest ideas for mods. And honestly, he was the one that inspired me to put this guy on. So. Uh, I thought about doing it, but I couldn't do it on here. The benefits of putting it on this side is that you can basically see anything on your right side. The angles are very wide. I didn't think it was necessary to put it in the middle because of course I have, uh, you know, I have this guy on, which is my mirror. So just because I have this on, I thought it was more important to see what's on the right. And therefore that's the reason why I have it all the way on the right side. It's easier to install the actual clamp, which is if this thing or the hook or the Thing that holds onto the bar is a little cheap, but it's still trustworthy. I, I do recommend it still, even though this is not the best material. And uh, it actually is really well designed. It is waterproof and it's also infrared. The other thing I wanted to tell you guys is that you cannot record with this guy. You can, you can see what's going on, but you cannot record here. Uh, you can change to infrared for nighttime. Obviously it's daytime, so you can't really see infrared, but this is the little sign here that shows you when it's infrared. So that's on the bottom button. This is obviously the uh, battery uh, indicator. And uh, the colors get a little washed out, but the important thing is that you see what's going on behind you. So you see if there's a car coming or if there's anything coming your way or close to you, it's a really good angle and it's kind of like a fish eye almost. Very, very wide angle. It is not an actual touch screen, so you can't really do anything by touching it but the buttons on the back kind of help with the settings and all that stuff. Uh, these are the settings. And uh, to charge it, I believe you just hit, you basically un undo this guy here and you plug it in. It's a little mini USB, very easy to charge. The thing I love about the rear view camera uh, monitor is that it's really wide and big. You can actually see what's going on in the daytime. It is not reflector proof. Basically when the sunlight hits it, it's a little bit harder to see, but you can still see. And it's better than just like turning your head to see what's behind you. And you, just, you can just literally see it from the monitor right here. You can see like the cars come in and all that stuff from behind. Um, you can, I put it in an angle where I can put my, uh, my legs on the pegs and they're not in the way. It is a little bulky and it does take a lot of space in your handlebars and that was one of the biggest uh, deal breakers for me to be completely honest. But after using it for a while, I really think that it was worth investment. 
Um, this one is actually uh, 50 something dollars. I'll put, a, I'll put a link down below in the description if you guys want to get one. Uh, but I, I really think it actually helps a lot. It's very safe and um, honestly, it's another peace of mind to have this while you're riding because it's just, you know, another set of eyes behind you. And uh, it helps a lot when you're riding uh, to know who's behind you and, you know, how close they are from you as well. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you do end up wanting to get one of these, I have a link down in the description below for the rear view camera. I think we're just going to say goodbye. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. It helps me be bigger, stronger, faster. If you guys want a Super 73 of any model, any kind, there's a link down in the description below for 100 bucks off. It helps out the channel a lot. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.